I'm Ray Tartaglia on Ten Hen Island. I'd like to read into the record this evening some excerpt, excerpts from a county investigation that was conducted on Hen Island. It's July 17th at 10.20 a.m. We are on Hen Island, City of Rye, doing an island inspection of some environmental violations. We are here with the City of Rye building inspector. We are here with Rye Police, with Westchester County Police. We are here with County Health Department as well. The investigation shows that it appears to have a mosquito infestation. That's his water storage tank. And he states that this director and other officials were severely bitten, and the area showed no signs of any kind of mosquito control program. This is their mosquito control program to cover their water. All right. Talking to anybody in the pictures here. Not not. Jordan Glass, attorney. I've been here before with you for Heal the Harbor, and it's my understanding that none of you have been to Hen Island for the purpose of visiting the issues complained of, the horse troughs, supplying water, the mosquito problems, the eminent smells. Dear Editor, three years ago in July, I took a five minute boat ride to South Hen Island with the real estate agent. No sooner did we step foot off the island that we were, without exaggeration, set upon by mosquitoes. They covered my bare arms and legs and were in my eyes and my mouth. I was there to work. The appalling cloud of mosquitoes made it very nearly impossible. I couldn't wait to get off the island. I left with the countless bites and the impression that warnings about West Nile virus and mosquito prevention had somehow failed to travel to Hen Island. So the most common mosquitoes are the ones that carry West Nile? That is correct. Entomologist Jorge Arias heads up the program. I have a lot more respect for West Nile virus today than I ever had before. Arias said he would have shown us the outdoor traps personally, but it's hard for him to walk. He was infected with West Nile himself last year, possibly while walking his dog, and still suffers from nerve damage as a result. These are pictures of water tanks on Hen Island that breed mosquitoes that affect Greenhaven, not just Hen Island, that she spoke of. They're breeding by the millions on Hen Island because Hen Island collects 33,000 gallons of water in tanks like these, similar to this. Similar to this. I knew someone right. He had a fever of 106, and so uh, they went to the emergency room, and they sent him home because they said he had the flu. His body was shutting down. His respiratory was shutting down. Everything was shutting down. And they took him to the ICU room, and at that time, they came and told us that he had West Nile virus. He thought he might have it because he started losing all, all his functions in his arms and his legs and all of his extremities. And I am all for this council jumping in and taking action where we have authority and jurisdiction. In this case, we believe we don't. And with that, I'd rather move to another topic. I think we're back to where we were a year ago is that Yes, in fact, when it comes to those matters, the county is our lead agency on that. When you look at environmental and health matters, the county provides the best service of those services to our residents. Even if the county, even if you're right, that it's not our problem. As it's, in your, it's in your city. Now that the state Supreme Court has given Rye the authority to enforce this law, should they, should they decide to? what the council's position is on The decision just came down, so we're not gonna, we don't have to have it discussed it, so. The city had made the argument that it was an obsolete law. The court found it was a law on the books. The court made it very clear that the city has the authority to have laws that supersede or, or uh, are in conjunction with county health laws as long as they're not in conflict. You now have judicial authority clean up your own backyard, to happily take responsibility for enforcing your own laws. And the Supreme Court in the state of New York is here to protect you. The court gave clear authority to the city when it stated that even though it was, quote, true that the county has enacted regulations regarding sewage systems, 
the county has clearly not usurped local municipalities' rights. You're a polluter enabler. You allow it to continue. The mosquitoes in Greenhaven, in, in Milton Harbor, are your responsibility. That's your job, and 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 your job. And you're not doing your job. Well, now you're talking about mosquitoes. I'm right? talking about everything. Well, I'm talking about mosquitoes, I'm talking right. about sewage, and Let I'm talking about Let me ask you about mosquitoes, water. sir. Mosqui Do they have the right to spray, Scott? We're not talking about spraying. Right. They don't have a mosquito control program in place. Right. Spraying is the last thing that you do with, with mosquitoes. We're not talking about spraying. Well, the first thing that you do in any comprehensive mosquito control program, sir, is get rid of the standing water. How do you get rid of 33,000 gallons of standing water if you don't require those people to take those horse troughs off the island? The island has, it hasn't been opened. Right now we're talking to them, and we will, through the season, we will come up with that right. resolution. The problem I have, Mr. Mayor, is you say things like Hen Island is a campsite. This is a campsite that you were at with your neighbors from Meadow Place, correct? You visited this campsite last year, or well, two years ago before you were elected, when, didn't um, you? I went to, I circulated the whole island. Did you have drinks at this house? Did you have a beer with them? I, that I wasn't you I see with the beer I with was you? on Hen Island, but I don't know if I was at that location. Oh, there, trust me, you were at that location. Because okay, I see you having a beer with the Vopies. The Vopies are the people who, well, let's not who start. Instructed, excuse me. Vopies are the people who instructed Hen Islanders to bury dead birds during the West no, Nile no, virus no. epidemic. You can, Those no. are the people that you visited in this house. What yeah. you're asking us to do is to is to run sewer lines and water lines. No, I'm now, not asking you to run. Well, I'm not asking you to run a sewer line or a water line. Well, so there's, there's the, many there's many fixes that we spoke about in that office. Don't tell me that I told you to run a sewer line and a no, water line. And no, don't I'm, tell me that I told you that the citizens of Rye have to pay for it. They shouldn't have to pay for a penny. Right. It's all propaganda. It's your propaganda. No. Financial responsibility to repair any of these violations do not fall on the city, do not fall on the taxpayers. Instead, they fall squarely where they should, which would be on the owners, in this case, of the Canadian properties. Why do we I have, have to come here week after week and say you're not doing anything? Your level of satisfaction right now, Mr. Tartaglione, isn't our concern. Let me tell you about my level of satisfaction. Last year I was out there, and my next door neighbor brought a grandchild out there. The baby was a year old, and when the baby left, he was covered with mosquito bites. I didn't realize there were mosquito bites. I thought the kid had the chicken pox. When I mentioned to somebody, somebody said to me, no, those aren't chicken pox. That baby got bitten by mosquitoes. The shareholders did approve the uh, water coverings for um, all of their water collection systems. So are you comfortable with the, the solution? I think this is a good step forward. <clears throat> Covered water tanks don't stop mosquitoes. Even if the tanks were to be sealed, it doesn't stop the mosquitoes in the reed areas of the island where the residents dump their garbage and their leaves. And the decomposing waste is left to rot right on the edge of Greenhaven. There persists the idea that because Hen Island is surrounded by water, that it's isolated from the larger community. Hen Island may be surrounded by water, but it's a stone's throw away from Greenhaven. The clubs, their beaches, and passing boat traffic. So why does Mayor French treat this as trivia? That's signed by Susie Ullman. I believe she's a Rye resident. I think some people might ask, if you can't reach it by the ground, is it really a concern? Aren't those mosquitoes out there in the wild somewhere? Well, ideally, it, it would be nice if the mosquitoes would stay where they hatch off, but they don't. And particularly, the salt marsh mosquito is a very strong flyer. They can fly easily 25 miles a day. You're telling people that the mosquitoes on Hen Island are only affecting Hen Island. It's not true. You're lying. You're lying to the people. These are our waters. These are our beaches. This is our city. Let's take it back. You said, as a campaign promise, that you were going to fix the problems on Hen Island. And, and until I found out that your neighbor, who's on the board of directors, happens to live on Meadow Place. Now you're not fixing anything until I brought you into the court. If you have something to add to your complaint, to you could you please give it to us and write it? If you don't have anything to add to your complaint, I suggest you meet with either the Cooter Island Association or the regulatory agencies working to solve your problems. How Thank you, I, Mr. Tartaglione. How about I we have business to conduct here. Mayor French, I'd just like to bring to your attention the headlines from the Westchester Journal News on Saturday. Yep. West Nile virus, it's Westchester. 
Kimberly King never gave mosquitoes a second thought until her five-year-old daughter, Adriana, was bitten by a mosquito carrying the rare Eastern Equin Encephalitis virus, or Triple E, somewhere near their home south of Boston. She seemed to have flu-like symptoms. They went to the hospital, and after a week in intensive care, it was clear that the little girl would not recover. We took her off of life support. She was, she was in my arms. I was holding her as she died. They allowed me to help wash her up before they sent her down to the morgue. Kim King buried her daughter on the day she would have started kindergarten. I am all for this council jumping in and taking action where we have authority and jurisdiction. In this case, we believe we don't, and with that, I'd rather move to another topic. You're not being asked to exceed your authority. You're being asked to exercise well below the limits of your authority. This is not an example of government intrusion. This is an example the request of government stepping in to protect 15,000 residents against 33 selfish homeowners.